Did you see what day it is? Good weekend, Wario, and good weekend, Switch fans. I had to do it to you, okay? There's a special report. It couldn't wait till Monday. Big leaks are brewing, and I gotta fill you in. Because if you were wondering why Nintendo's E3 was missing a few things, well, we've got some new information. And we might even know some games that'll be popping up at the next Nintendo Direct. So what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Leave a like if you can. It's a great way to support the show. And make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for these games. Okay, we're gonna start with a third party title. This one popped up just a couple hours ago on Amazon Germany, Origami 2. Now, Origami 1 released on Switch as a port in 2019. It's a really awesome stealth game, like an eight out of 10, like a good experience. And Origami 2 was announced in 2020 as a new adventure for every system except for Switch, okay? It's coming out September 17th. It features three player co-op because that's the new hotness. Everybody wants three sums instead of four. Okay, everybody wants to play with three, I guess. And this one has some better graphics, tighter gameplay, and it just looks snazzy as all heck. And now Amazon Germany is saying, yo, it's coming to Switch. Probably gonna be coming at a later date, but hey, maybe it's a surprise reveal for the next Nintendo Direct. Amazon's got a full page. It hasn't been taken down. This would be a cool get for our platform. But you wanna hear the Nintendo leak. So let's talk about the big, gorilla in the room, okay? Zippo is a leaker, and Zippo talked a lot of stuff before E3. I went and verified. The dude got quite a bit right. He called Metroid Dread, he called a new Mario Party, and he called Breath of the Wild 2 not hit until 2022. I, I gotta pay attention because that's, that's solid. He got enough that I'm gonna keep my ears and eyes on this guy, at least for the time being. And now he's talking about the games that were not there. There were a number of games that were heavily rumored to be at the E3 Direct, and they weren't there. Stuff like Donkey Kong, Splatoon 3, Monolith Soft's new project, and maybe even Mario Kart. Now he says the reason for this is because Nintendo didn't have to show them. They had so much stuff they didn't need to reveal these just yet, but it sounds like some of them are still coming and maybe sooner than we'd expect. The big one obviously involves the superstar Simeon and there's more to it than just a game, but let's touch on Fire Emblem first. A new Fire Emblem title was heavily rumored and has been for a while. New game, remake, everybody seems to be leaning towards remake. Genealogy of the Holy War seems a very likely candidate and Zippo says that, hey, it's basically done. They just didn't need to show it and they will soon, and hey, it's gonna be a remake, and it's gonna be on Switch, and it's gonna be a good time. So this seems like a game that could pop up for maybe an early 2022 release, or perhaps they save it for more mid-2022, but according to him, he assures us that this Fire Emblem title is like baked, and they just gotta serve it. And look, that concept of Nintendo not needing to show their whole hand, that was echoed by some other leakers as well, saying, hey, we thought these games could be there, but Nintendo had enough that they didn't need it. And there's a revision of the console coming at some point in the near future, and maybe they want to save some ammo for when they announce that. Wouldn't it be nice to have a new game to help showcase and sell your stronger, more professional Switch system? But let's talk about my boy, Donkey Kong. All right, y'all know I'm a big DKC fan. In fact, I found this paper recently, something I wrote in kindergarten, where I said my big dreams were to go to Disney World and to get Donkey Kong Country 2. Now, both those came true, so my dreams have been realized, but it would be a better future if there was more DK. And Zippo says Nintendo is actually making moves to make Donkey Kong their next big thing. We know Nintendo has massive plans for Mario. They opened up a theme park. They've got a big movie in the works. And of course, there's just so many Switch games, but DK is apparently next in line. And it begins with his new game that apparently has been in development for over three years. This is the one that everyone said is from the Mario Odyssey team. There was a lot of back and forth on whether it was a 2D platformer, a 3D more open game, or some strange hybrid of the two. We just know that Nintendo supposedly brought DK in-house. They didn't want to have anyone else touch it and they wanted to make it a fresh new affair that probably brings back the Kremlins and pays homage to the original Donkey Kong Country games that appeared on the Super NES. Now, Zippo says this game is well in the works and that this game is not just a one-off, but part of Nintendo's bigger plans to integrate Donkey Kong as a major face of their entire brand. Now this would be backed up by a new animation project. Not sure if it's a movie or a show 
theme park expansion, merchandise, and of course, this new Switch game, which Zippo says will be seen sooner rather than later. Now, if you're saying, what the heck, this sounds like so much just for Donkey Kong, a franchise that Nintendo has kind of ignored recently, well, there is validity here because we do know that Nintendo is hard at work on an expansion for Super Nintendo World, the theme park, focused on Donkey Kong. First off, there's been leaked concept art that shows the new land centering around DK. We've even seen technology from the leaked Donkey Kong roller coaster being tested because it's special drop track technology to simulate the minecart rides from the games. And most obviously and undeniably, there's a massive door in Super Nintendo World that leads to undeveloped areas. And it's painted very, very Donkey Kong. Like, you can't argue with this. So clearly Nintendo does have future plans for DK and there was enough rumblings in the jungle about this game that I fully believe it's real. And if we get to see it soon, that to me says it is a September direct reveal. Now I've heard some rumblings as well about maybe Nintendo's holiday game has not been shown yet because their E3 presentation was chock full of fan favorites, but it was missing like the big oomph. Now by all accounts, Pokemon remakes are the big oomph. That's the November title, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. But there kind of could be room for one more game. This might be pie in the sky and to me it's unlikely, but could Nintendo come in September with their usual direct and say, ha-chow, we've got Donkey Kong and it's launching this holiday season. I think the more likely scenario is that they do showcase it at that September direct and it's given a 2022 date. For whatever reason, they're confident about Pokemon Legends launching in late January, but everything else seems a bit more nebulous. And given the continuing pandemic, I think it makes sense for Nintendo to just give generic dates for stuff like Splatoon 3, Breath of the Wild 2, and probably even Donkey Kong, and then fit them in when they can and when they're sure they can hit the date and don't risk a delay. But I can't lie, even the smallest prospect of another 2021 Switch title has got me so excited. And even if we don't get it this year, seeing it this year, that would be wonderful. I feel like they packed in that E3 show. I feel like the year has been really strong for Switch games. We know a lot that's coming in 2022. So adding onto that calendar, this is getting crazy. Nintendo does seem poised to have an absolutely monster next 12 months. Whether you believe in the Switch Pro or not, they're clearly gearing up for the second wave, the second coming of Switch glory. Zelda, Mario, hey, Donkey Kong deserves it. I'm so glad that this guy is gonna be back in a focal role. I love the cast of characters, I love the games, and if they can find a way to make it appealing and awesome and even innovative with a new title, whether that is 2D, 3D, or some hybrid, like that is day one, instantly one of my most anticipated games. I'm no seamstress, but looking to tie these threads together, maybe it does make sense. Nintendo has a planned Switch Pro announcement. They got a few games they saved up. Makes for a pretty special show. You got a brand new platform and a couple surprise games. I mean, that is one way to get your audience really eager to spend money. You know, they're leaks and rumors, so you gotta take them with some grains of salt, but make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you're excited about a new Donkey Kong game for Switch being announced soon and also about a Fire Emblem remake coming quicker than maybe we expected. I looked at Zippo's record, he got a good chunk right about E3. The ones he got wrong, he says are still coming. So we'll have to wait and see, I'll be paying attention, but consider me very intrigued. Now I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Make sure you're staying safe, okay? A lot of great games coming, so I need you here. And we need you back on Monday for another episode of Good Morning Mario. Hope you enjoyed the weekend show. I love you guys a lot. Hit that like button on your way out. And until next time, everybody, thanks so much for being a part of my life and a part of Good Morning Mario, a good weekend, the show. Switch Force, out.